everyone. I'm just going to give you a rundown on how to install your Renegade machine. Uh, this is an R525, so it's the middle of the range one, so it's a good one to show. I'm at a customer's property actually. He's got 120 metre runs. He's going to run the dog on that side and have the machine on this side so the pulleys don't become a factor. Now, what he got in his box was all standard. So he's got the isolation key that goes in the safety switch there. Voltmeter, it's all standard. Remote battery that, la that goes up to about 100 metres. All nicely insulated. Um, battery get locally, you'll save a lot. I don't want to be overcharging for batteries and I don't really want to be shipping them around all over the place. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't come included. But to install it, just have the positive on that side as such, on the right side, negative on the left side. Uh, you got your drive wheel, you got three pulleys that come standard, you got your bolt that you're going to punch a hole in the ground and then place your pulleys in. Don't ever hit the top of these pulleys with a hammer. And you've got your ribbon to tie on your line and obviously your line there. You can add more usually comes with just 200 meters and you've got your anchor pegs that's just so the box doesn't move but look usually it doesn't depends on the ground but this one's flat so it won't move and all you'll need is a knife and a hammer and a bit of time it takes about five to ten minutes to set up but once it's set up it's done you just leave it you can take the box out and leave the line set up you'll just grab your your bolt bang it in the ground put the string around it take your box inside otherwise yeah we just throw a tarp over ours and charge our battery inside that's it all right now into the insulation so as i said this is 120 meters we want to leave at least 10 meters either end so i'll mark that out and i'll show you the next bit Right, uh, the next step is to install the end pulley. So we're about a hundred roughly meters away from the box. And again, we're going to use this bolt to punch a hole. It's fairly soft anyway. You want to go about as long as the shaft. Getting into good ground there. Pull it out as such. Yeah. Yeah, if you see ground up like that, don't worry too much. The line will dig it all down, but if you can, give it a helping hand by smoothing it out. You don't really have to, the line will sort it out. Alright, so that's the end pulley done. Alright, now you want to install the string line. It's a good idea to start up at the, uh, the drive end. Now what you want to do is just tie the string around the uh, wheel there and then run it out all the way to the end roller. Righto, so once you get up to the end pulley just wrap it around the bottom of the pulley and start going the other way. So when you need to join the line, <clears throat> obviously just tie a knot and this is where you end up placing your lure or your ribbon. Right, so installing the middle pulleys just find a point in the ground where that's sitting up. You want to find a point where it's touching the ground. That's always a good place to start. You can always move and adjust them until you get it right. Because the only thing that will slow the line down is obviously uh, friction on the ground. You see it's nice and high here. And low up here. 
so it's a good place to start and just adjust it as you go. You want the line as close to the fence as possible? So now back at the end pulley, you want to pull the string around, that's fairly tight, and then just go test the, give it a test, see how it goes, you might have to adjust it as you go, but once you get it right, you never have to do it again. <laughs> Good girl! And then focus work, which is my okay. favourite, is this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is Arira from the customer's yard. It's obviously first time on this. So great for focus work, not just fitness. Bring it back for her. Wait for a tell. Sometimes it's a bark or a scratch. There you go. Wait for a tell. <laughs> That'll do it for a month. Good job. Good job. Thanks, good. <laughs> it's a good spot to stand when you're running your dogs. You know, it is at the motor in case something goes wrong. If the remote goes flat, you can shut the motor down. But if you're confident your battery and your remote is uh, all good, then a great spot to stand is halfway. You can see exactly where the lure is. Now this obviously depends on your setup too, but on this typical setup, which are sprint lanes, about 100 meters, about halfway is good. So then you can see where the lure is and where the dog is. And you can adjust the speed just by stop starting. flat out if you want. I want a dog that quick. So that, that's it. 